python strings alphabet rangoli you are given an integer n your task is to print an alphabet rangoli of size n so this is the pattern we need to print and we determine this uh, pattern through the size so if the size is 3 we start with uh, the third alphabet c we decrement it till a and then we start incrementing to c so similarly if the size is 5 we start the um, pattern with uh, e which is the fifth alphabet we go till a and then we start incrementing to e again for the lines above and below we decrement the size by one so let's go to the coding part if we look at the solution as a whole it may seem daunting but if we break it down into smaller chunks uh, the solution is uh, pretty easy to arrive at so the first step is uh, we need to store the alphabets in a variable so that we can fetch those alphabets and use it to form the string so let me write down the steps here the first step alphabet now the second step is to find the width of the pattern width and the third step we need to arrive at this uh, rhombus structure so i'll write it as uh, rhombus okay so again for rhombus uh, we can divide this rhombus into two parts the top part and the bottom part so i'll write it as top bottom and again in the top part we can uh, further divide it into two triangles the left triangle and the right triangle next uh, we have to get the whole structure okay so let me comment this out now the first step alphabet we can either uh, type from a to z and store it in a variable or you can import the module string and you can use the string variable and store it in a another variable char equal to string dot ascii underscore lowercase okay now let me put this inside the function and we'll print this uh, char and see the output yeah so we got all the alphabets now instead of storing it as a whole string uh, if we can store it as list items then it will be easier for us to fetch these uh, values we can even uh, do a, a list slicing so I'll use a loop for that for i in char uh, list dot append i. So let me print the list and I will declare this list as a list function. Yeah. So let's uh, see the output. Okay, so we have our alphabets in a uh, list format. Okay. To find the width, we need to look at this uh, center line because the center line determines the size of this uh, rangoli. And if you notice close closely, uh, there is a pattern in this uh, center line. If uh, the size is five, we have five alphabets in descending order followed by four alphabets in ascending order so we have a total of nine alphabets and in between these uh, nine alphabets we have hyphens so nine minus one eight hyphens therefore nine alphabets plus eight hyphens uh, we have 17. similarly if the size is three we have three alphabets followed by two alphabets uh, so the size is uh, five plus uh, four hyphens so the total width is nine so let me put that here let's say if uh, n is equal to 5 uh, we have 5 alphabets in descending order plus 4 alphabets in ascending order so i'll write it as uh, 5 minus 1 
okay and the total of these alphabets which is 5 plus 5 minus 1 minus 1 hyphens okay so similarly if we have three alphabets if the size is 3 we have three alphabets in ascending order plus uh, two alphabets in descending order so I'll write it as uh, 3 minus 1 plus the total of uh, the alphabets minus 1 okay so let me replace this uh, uh, 5 and 3 by n so we have n alphabets plus n minus 1 alphabets in ascending order plus the total of these uh, alphabets minus 1 hyphens okay so let me simplify this so because all of these are addition and subtraction we can just add this ends so we have 4 into n here minus into 3 so we have 3 number yeah so this is the uh, formula for width so we will just uh, copy this and uh, use it here inside our code width uh, is equal to okay, put this inside the function width is equal to 4 into n minus 3 okay and i'll comment this out so once we find the width uh, the next step is is to get this uh, rhombus formation before that let me assign this n uh, to size okay now let's focus on the top part of uh, the rhombus okay and we will divide this uh, top into the left triangle and the right triangle we have our uh, <coughs> alphabet stored in a list format and the list indexing starts from zero and it goes on till 2 3 and 4 if n is equal to 5 okay and the corresponding uh, values that are stored in this uh, indexes are a b c d and e if we have to write it in the in terms of uh, n then we'll write it as n minus 5 which is 5 minus 5 points to 0 which points to a and n minus 4 gives uh, 1 which points to b similarly for c we have n minus 3 and d we have n minus 2 and e we have n minus 1 and if we want to access uh, this e then we will start the slicing from n minus 1 till n okay so it will start from e and it will go to n but not n okay so it will return only e similarly for the second line we need d and e so we will start from n minus 2 we will go till n but not n so it will return uh, n minus 2 and n minus 1 so we will have d and e so let me write it as n minus 2 till n similarly for c we have n minus uh, 3 till n the same for uh, n, uh, n minus 4 till n which will return b and for a it's n minus 5 till n so let me replace this uh, 1 2 3 till 5 by i n minus i till n so this is the list slicing that we will be using in our uh, loop so for i n n range of n we'll just uh, print list and we'll do the slicing here okay and 
So for the first loop, it will start with the zero. So um, zero. Uh, so n minus zero is uh, five. So we do not have five. So we need to start this loop with one, and we will go till n plus one. Okay. Now it should work. Let me run the code. this out okay so we have our uh, right triangle values so e d e c d e great and we do not need to print this uh, list here let me remove that okay now that we have our uh, right triangle let's start with the left triangle so for left triangle uh, what we'll do uh, we are getting uh, the same characters but in descending order so first we need e followed by d followed by c and we'll go till a so the first uh, line we do not need anything because uh, we got this e from the right triangle therefore uh, we will start uh, the slicing from n minus 1 which is uh, uh, e and we will go till uh, n minus 1 itself okay. so it will return an empty string and of course uh, we need to go in reverse order so I will add a uh, minus 1 step count okay so similarly uh, for uh, the second line we need uh, only the e so we need to start with n minus 1 and we will go till n minus 2. So it will go till n minus 2 but not the n minus 2. So it will return only e. And again, I will add a reverse step. So for the third uh, letter c, we will start from n minus 1, we will go to n minus uh, 3. So we will get E and D okay. and reverse step. Okay. Yeah. So uh, what we need to do is we will replace this uh, uh, 1, 2, 3 by I. So I'll have N minus 1, 2, N minus I minus 1 okay so this is the uh, slicing that we are going to use in our uh, loop for the left triangle okay so for oh, we need we don't need a separate loop we'll just uh, use this let me comment this out and use another statement Let's try to print this uh, left uh, triangle separately. Okay, so print LST of. Let me copy this. And run the code. Cool. So we have our first character empty as expected. And second line we have E. Third line we have E and D. Fourth line we have E, D, C fifth e d c b we have what we want now all we have to do is append this uh, two strings yeah. okay so we'll concatenate these uh, two strings And if I print uh, the output now, we have our top triangle. Now we did we need it in this format, uh, hyphen instead of uh, the list. So I use a join function here. We'll join it using hyphen dot join, and I'll pass this entire slicing. 
as a argument to this joint function so let me run okay so we have it in the uh, required format and to get the entire structure we will use uh, the center function okay so let me this entire thing dot center and uh, we need to pass a width here so I'll just pass this uh, width variable and we'll fill out this uh, empty lines with uh, hyphen okay, so now let's run the code yeah so we got the perfect top half great now for the bottom half uh, we just need to change the loop so for i in range of uh, now we will start from the top so uh, we'll go from n minus 1 because we already covered the n in the previous loop so we'll go from n minus 1 comma uh, we'll go till uh, 0 and We'll go in reverse order okay so the logic to form this uh, variables uh, does not uh, I mean uh, the alphabets uh, does not uh, change so we'll use the same logic okay. and uh, yeah so let me run the code and we got the required output uh, let me submit it and it passed all the test cases yeah so that's the solution uh, if you like the video uh, hit the like button and if you like the content consider subscribing to the channel thank you